This is the premise, and I'm hearing this more and more. I think even Jeff Bezos said this. AI won't crash. It will burn. Like every tech cycle, the fire will clear the brush, redistribute talent, and leave infrastructure to power what comes next. I think that's a fair assessment. When I keep hearing about this, oh, it's a bubble, it's going to crash, I keep reminding myself, I keep saying, in fact, out loud, but there's such value in it. And we've seen the value in it. I use AI every single day, all the time for all sorts of things. I think an awful lot of AI engineers are in for a very rude shock when it does burst, and an awful lot of stockholders are gonna lose money. The real winners are the small models. So there's this thesis that's been powering the AI uh, boom, and that's been powering this data center you know, build out, which is that these big models needed to kind of solve everything, and they're very power hungry, and they need to build capacity because if we keep scaling the way we are now with more people using these things, because what happens is only like 10 to 15% of people have even have started using AI on the planet, right? So all of this, this boom is built on this idea that we need to run everything on these big models and the big models require the latest hardware. Well, that in the last half of 2025, that um, argument has started to fall apart. When companies use um, smaller models, uh, they are more efficient, meaning they're faster, and they're a lot cheaper to run.